hello. Welcome to this video. In this one, I'm going to be looking at Dehancer Pro for Premiere Pro. So this will be a screen recording so that I can show you the different features. So Dehancer Pro is a plugin that allows you to get film like color grading and film like effects on video footage. And I want to thank Dehancer for providing me the full license for this video so that I can show you all the features. The sequence that you saw at the beginning of the video was all graded with Dehancer. It's just F-Log footage from the Fujifilm X-T4 and all of the color grading and effects were done with the Dehancer Pro plugin and no other software. So I didn't use Limitri Color or anything like that. It was straight from that. And I'll just work on this clip that we've got in front of me to show you all the different effects. And at the end of the video, I'll show you, I'll play, I'll play the video clip and show you one by one how the effects um, added on change the video clip. So to install the plugin, it's very simple. You just download it from dehancer.com, install it, then it will appear in your effects menu. So I'll just go through to here, clicking down there just to get into effects and then typing in Dehancer. And you can see it there, and it's just a matter of dragging it onto the clip or applying it to a adjustment layer, etc. And it will then come up into here, as you can see, Dehancer Pro. And there's various categories there that we will explore quickly. I just want to give you an overview. This won't be a long video. On the Dehancer site, there is a full manual and a guide, etc. So you can have a look there if you want more information. This is more just to show you the different things that are in here. So we'll start with input. So once I open that, it allows me to indicate the source of the footage and my footage is from a particular camera. So I'll just choose camera and then I'll go down to Fuji X-T3, which is F-Log footage. And you can see immediately the clip changed on the right there. If I then go down and just adjust the exposure here, or maybe 0.6 up, we can see that that changes quite a lot. Might go with 0.3 on there. And that's applied the camera preset. When we scroll down further, you can also see there that you've got a lot of adjustment here. We can change color, um, make it warmer, make it cooler, the tint, the fringing, etc. If I go down to film now, which is what the Hansa is known for, at currently I think there are 63 different film stocks. This is the heart and soul of the Hansa, and you very quickly can apply a different look to your footage and replicate the film look of actual film stocks. So uh, by default, it comes already enabled. If I disable it, you'll see it'll just go back to normal footage. So I'll just enable it again, and I'll, I'll stick with the Kodak Vision 3, but I'll just uh, pop in here so that you can see all the different film stocks, and you can slow down the video to just have a look at them. But there they are, and they're also um, listed on the website as far as I remember. So we'll just leave that there and I'll move on to the next. Again, you can push and pull here so you can um, lighten, darken, etc. And just to reset, you just press that button. And again, like I said, enabling and disabling any of the effects is just pressing on that tick. We'll go into expand now. Expand is recommended to do after you, immediately after you apply the film stock. So here you can adjust the black and white points of your image so we can raise that and lower it etc. I'll just reset that we'll stick with it as it is for the moment. We'll go into print so here you've got a few different choices we've got linear and some others. Here generally you would match the film stock to the profile so linear would be for positive film, codec and Jura for negative and the other two would be for movie stocks. So I'll just pick Endura in this case and we'll go back to I'll just go back up to here and just put 0.6 again because we are a little bit dark. So going down again, I will go to color head this time. And you can see again, I uh, didn't cover this, but you've got a lot of different choices within each module to alter the footage. Color head just allows you to push, you know, more green, blue, complementary colors into the picture. I'll just quickly do it so that you can see. And the reason that didn't change there was that's not enabled by default. So once I press default, you will see that that's changing. And again, just to reset, so you can see, you can really get that yellow blue sort of look happening there. I'll just reset that and I'll leave that at enabled. And now we'll go to the film grain, halation and bloom. These next four are really my favorites, of course, together with the film stock. This is just 
a really cool feature within Dehancer. It's the most realistic film grain that I've found in any software to be able to apply to footage. And it's one of the reasons I really like Dehancer. So the special thing about the film grain in Dehancer is that it's not just overlaid. It's not just a, an adjustment layer that's put on top of footage. It's actually uh, baked into the footage. Dehancer reconstructs the whole shot and adds the grain into it. So it looks very realistic. And you've got lots of choices here, size, amount, film resolution. You can push the grain more into the shadows, highlights, etc. And halation is another favorite. This is where the red and orange halos appear around bright objects and around specular highlights and contrasting edges. So you'll see when I scroll up and turn that on, if you have a look at the picture, it'll turn that on. And if we say amplify and a little bit of global and local diffusion you'll see those lights having that orange glow and if I turn that on and off if you look at the picture you'll see that there's quite a quite a significant difference there and it really makes it filmy I'm probably overdoing it there but just want to show you the different sort of effects again with bloom similar thing it gives sort of that misty feeling to the contrasting edges of the highlights so when we put that one on You'll see again, there's a little bit more of that filmy look happening. And again, lots of different options here to alter and really fine tune the bloom effect. Now going into vignette. So vignette is used just to emphasize a subject, but also it could be used to remove unwanted vignetting. So in, in the opposite, if you've shot something and it has that vignette, you can use this to try and remove the vignette. So that's quite handy. You've got film breath here and, and gate weave. So the film breath effect is an accidental change in exposure, contrast and color from frame to frame as the film moves through the camera. So this software allows you to add that and make the image look a little bit less digital and a bit more natural. Gate weave is the movement of the film while it is being pulled through the frame in the window of a film camera. So again, those two add that a little bit more of a realistic feel rather than just putting on grain and that's it. This really lets you dial in to make the footage look like it is shot on a film camera. I won't do those now. You can see the different um, options we've got there for adjustments, but I'll show you that at the end after I've finished talking. I'll just put on each effect one by one so you can see how the, the footage is changing. And towards the end there, we've got false color, which just allows you to quickly see the exposure levels by color zones, very handy tool. And, and we've got a LUT generator, which is really handy. So you, once you've got your look dialed in, you can just generate that out as a LUT and bring that into your next footage. And just the license info and profiles. So here you can make sure that your profiles are up to date. So if Dehansa updates any profiles or new film stocks, you can download them there and there's your license info. So that's sort of an overlook of how Dehancer works. It's a really, really powerful software that just can transform your footage. You can see if I just go up to here and turn it off, you know, we've gone from that to, to this, which um, is probably a little bit overdone there, but I just wanted to quickly run through the features rather than zeroing in on making it perfect. So if you've enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up and um, subscribe and check out Dehancer.com and have a look at all the different products they've got available. Dehancer Pro is available for Final Cut Pro and uh, DaVinci Resolve as well as Lightroom and other photo software. So have a look on the site and I will leave you now with that footage and I will just add one effect after another and show you how it changes and how cool the software is. Thanks for listening and I will see you or chat to you in the next video. Bye.